Okay, moving on to the B part. It says use a structure you designed in part A of task DB3 to create a table in the DHG2000 database. Save the table as hotel. So we are about to create a new table. Create new table. And now we need to first insert the fields. So you can go into design view and do it. Let's come over here, design view. As soon as you go into design view, it asks you what is the name of your table. You can very simply say the name of my table that it's going to be hotel. Isn't it? Uh, let's be sure. Yes, save the table as hotel. That's done. Now what you've got to do is you've got to start putting the fields in. So the first field that we have is hotel name, employee code, city. Hotel name, employee code, city. Uh, manager year started manager year started and email okay now do not forget we also need to let's keep it short text short text short text short text this is going to be a number okay uh, remember the employee code it has to be four characters only okay um, okay so we display display the table the table hotel in design view make sure the primary key is clearly identified we did not do this so the primary key needs to be for employee code not hotel name so let's right click and say this is the primary key okay so as you can see this key symbol appears next to it uh, take a screenshot of the design view so we can take a screenshot of this print screen and uh, what do we do next paste a screenshot into task db3 so let's come into task db3 and over here let's paste the screenshot control V uh, the next thing it says is create a data entry form for the hotel table okay so we have got to create form for this table so let's first save what we have done let's go back into data sheet view and then let's come into create and let's come into form now there is form design blank form there are so many options over here let's just go with form which is the easiest op option where the computer creates the entire form for you you don't have to manually do anything else okay so one click and the entire form has been created for you then the question paper goes on to say enter the data for the london hotel from the file manager so the london hotel which is uh, london hotel is which one this one so this data needs to be entered into our form so when you come to your form you have different views you have form view form view is where you enter your data layout view is where you can do a little bit of arranging and design view is where you can make advanced changes to your form for now we just need to enter the data so let's go back home and let's click on form view so what is the hotel name uh, the hotel name is parliament mansions i can instead copy and paste isn't it control c control v employee code control c control v Okay, so the data has been entered. Okay, uh, then the past paper says display the form view of the data entry form. Make sure you can see all the data and the whole form. Take a screenshot of the form. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this form. Make sure everything is pro uh, properly visible. Print screen. Let's come to Microsoft Word and over here screenshot a screenshot of data entry form. So let's paste it. Okay, that's also done. Uh, then the question paper goes on to say paste a screenshot we did that resave task db3 print task db3 so resave it and then you can go ahead control p and you can go ahead and print this document now you might have a question what do we do with this form do we save it what do we do with it well the past paper hasn't told us what to do with the form they haven't told us whether to save the form or not okay if you go through this question you will notice they haven't told us to do anything with the form okay they just told us to enter the data but then the saving part has not been mentioned so what i would do is i would just save it as hotel itself i'll just say hotel form okay just to be safe i would save it okay so with that uh, we have now even come to the end of activity number four we thereafter have just one activity remaining which is activity number five where we will be using word processing software and uh, we will be producing a report okay so i hope things are going well I hope uh, it's making sense. If not, you know the email address over here. Okay, you can get in touch with me and as soon as possible, I'll get back to you. Okay, uh, okay see you in the next video.